Hey, what's up everyone? In this lesson, let me show you how easy it is to create timeless black and white edits inside of On One Photo Raw 2025. Inside of On One Photo Raw, it's incredibly easy to create black and white looks, and there's a few different ways that you can do it depending on the black and white look that you're going for. The first way is a really fast way, really easy. We're just gonna head into our tone and color pane here in the develop tab. If we're gonna scroll down to the color section, we're just gonna take this saturation slider here and we're gonna pull it all the way to the left. That's going to desaturate all of the colors and we're left with a nice black and white look. Now, whenever I'm using the color section in my develop tab, I like to go up to the tone section, add in a little bit of contrast to make it a little bit more dramatic. And if I'm not dealing with an overexposed image or a really bright photo, I like to head down to my white slider here and I'll pull up on the whites a little bit. That's just gonna add in a little bit more punch and pop as well. Now, whenever you're pulling up on your white slider, I would recommend holding down the J key on your keyboard. That's gonna show you your clipping warnings. So you can pull up on your whites, and then once you've reached this red overlay, you know you've gone too far. So we can pull back to remove any of that red overlay and ensure that we still have some details within the brighter areas of our photograph. And so with just three sliders here, saturation, contrast, and that white slider there, let's hit the backslash key on our keyboard. And we have a nice dramatic black and white style. Let's just reset this here and we'll talk about the other ways you can achieve a black and white look. The most common way is to go into the effects tab, we'll add a filter, and you guessed it, we're gonna add black and white. With the black and white filter, it's automatically going to desaturate the photograph to create that black and white look. But the great thing about the black and white filter is that you can modify a lot of different things to create different variations of black and white looks. What I'd recommend doing is going into the style section here and going through these different styles to see what works for the image that you're adjusting. You can also open up this more menu here and go through more styles that are built into the filter as well. I'll just reset this here and we'll start from scratch. So in this conversion section here, this is where we're going to modify how our image is converted to black and white. I typically use the color response option. That way I can target individual colors within my photo and I can modify how bright they are. So for example, if we turn off our black and white filter here, we have a lot of blue within our sky. So I can go to my blue slider here and I can darken up that section of the sky or I can brighten it. So within the sandy areas of our photograph, we probably have some yellow and some reds. So we can modify the brightness of that area as well. Below the conversion section, we have this tone section here, which is very similar to the tone section within the develop tab that we were just modifying. We can modify brightness, contrast, shadow tones, you name it. So if you want to go in here and really adjust and fine tune how bright your image is, you can do that within the black and white filter as well. Below that, we have this toner section, which we can use to add a color tint onto our black and white. I typically just go into the type option and I scroll through these. A couple of my favorites are the black tea options, and I also really like selenium. And then below that, oops, we'll just go to none there. And below that we have this film grain option, which we can use to add in some graininess to our black and white to give it a vintage feel. We can go into film here, and I typically like to use this Kodak 3200. That brings in a nice bit of grain, so it's really noticeable within the scene, but feel free to play around with any of these different film options. It's trying to emulate these types of film grain within the scene there. Another really fast way to convert your image to black and white is to add a filter, and we're gonna use the LUTs filter. 
Inside of our LUTs filter, we're gonna to go to the category and we're gonna choose black and white. Then we can just open up the LUT menu here and we can scroll through these to see what works within our photo. One of my favorites is this titanium option. It gives a nice dramatic black and white, but also gives it this faded matte look, which is really nice for black and whites as well. Another thing I like about using the LUTs filter for black and white is if I use one of these black and white LUTs here, let's say nickel, and I'm thinking, well, I really like the fade that it's bringing and I like the overall black and white feel, but I want a little bit more contrast. I can go into the contrast slider here and I can boost that contrast to make things a little bit more punchy and poppy within the scene. So that's how easy it is to convert your image to black and white and create timeless black and white looks inside of On One Photo Raw 2025. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.